meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back and welcome back to Monday. Although it is Monday, you come in, you take a look at the meteorological analyses and look at the forecast and you see a cool front set up for Friday into Saturday. So all of a sudden it's a great Monday. It's going to be a warm week though as temperatures will continue in the mid to upper 80s. So first off though, let's take a look at our drone shot from the backyard of KTC and we actually have a tree back here that does turn a little color this time of year. Most of our trees, they kind of hold their greenness uh, up through about December. Then there there may be a week or two where some of the trees do turn some nice colors and then we have a storm and all the leaves come off the trees uh, as we we get into January, but they're back by late February, and that's the sky that we've had today. It's been mostly cloudy for a good part of the day. We did have lots of thick lower level clouds, stratiform clouds early in the day made it kind of dark this morning and then it got sunny and now this is what we have this afternoon. This is what's going to keep our temperatures somewhat elevated overnight tonight. We're favoring mid 70s. In fact, the model data continues to come in warmer. So here's the upper level pattern. We have high pressure that's in charge. We have that upper low that created severe weather over toward Oklahoma yesterday. That's up in the Midwest. That's why the showers we were watching fell apart before they really got into Acadiana. Next upper level low, Boy, this one's producing winter weather or the threat of it as we get into Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado as well. But we're not going to see winter weather, but eventually that cooler air is going to reach us. Meanwhile, that same upper level low uh, producing the threat of severe weather across portions of Illinois uh, through the Chicago area as well. We'll be watching that for the uh, Astros game as well. So the threat of uh, some storminess there. Meanwhile, high pressure at the surface allowing for southerly winds across the area, warm temperatures and you can see the satellite imagery. You can see these showers uh, on the radar and then things pretty much falling apart during the course of the day today, pretty much as the models were indicating. So here's the big picture as we open it up. Take a look at the tropics. There's a tropical storm named Pamela. This is going to become a hurricane later on tonight and maybe a major hurricane prior to making landfall on the western Mexican coastline Wednesday. That moisture is going to be heading for Texas, but that's where it should stay, although we might see some of the high clouds associated with this system toward the end of the week. As we open it on up, up and get out into the Atlantic Basin. No major issues. A couple of small uh, spots that are uh, got very low chances of development over the next couple of days, so no issues there, although we'll watch tropical moisture as it heads toward the Gulf of Mexico down the line. But in the near term, there's uh, Pamela right here. This is going to be moving into Mexico, and you see that moisture back toward Texas, reaching us perhaps by Thursday. I'm going 20% only on rain chances there. You can see weak low pressure trying to develop over by the Bahamas, North Caribbean but no issues. Big story. Here comes that cool front as we head into Friday afternoon, so we should see an uptick on our rain chances Friday. Then that cooler, drier air coming in for the weekend, and it's going to stay with us for several days while we'll watch that tropical moisture, moisture pooling in the Gulf of Mexico. The models continue to suggest there could be broad low pressure uh, developing out here in the next week to 14 days, but no major concerns for now. We got some good looking weather as we head into the weekend, and it's going to stay for a good part of next week. Maybe some showers from this moisture the, toward the following weekend, but that's a long ways down the road. So in the near term, latest graph model picking up on the possibility of a streaming shower to across the area overnight tonight. And then as we head into tomorrow, clouds in the morning, but mostly sunny skies for the afternoon. Again, and we'll see much the same as we get into Wednesday as well. Morning clouds, afternoon sunshine and temperatures well up there into the mid to upper 80s. So a mild evening ahead. We'll call it partly cloudy skies. Plenty of clouds out there. Maybe some fog patches by morning, but mid 70s, the low. That's normal for July and August, not mid October, which we're just about at 88. The high tomorrow normal high this time of year should be about 83, 84 degrees. So temperatures running above normal, and that's the way it's going to go over the next four to five days through Friday, upper 80s. Rain chances relatively low in the 10% range. Next couple of days, 20% Thursday, higher rain chances for Friday with that front and then feeling good with more seasonable temperatures as we head into the weekend highs this weekend in the 70s and those lows dropping into the mid 50s for Saturday night into Sunday morning. That's it for weather for right now. We're going to have more right after this.